Namaste. In this video, I am going to be demonstrating the morning exercises that I do daily for various purposes which I will explain now. So the first part starts with joint rotations that is for body flexibility. After that it is uh, Surya Namaskar that is for you know uh, again more deeper flexibility and slowly building of strength. Then the next part is for uh, building your uh, lung capacity and uh, to uh, strengthen your heart, bring down heart rate, improve oxygen in your body. So this is very important for the times of you know, getting flu and all of that. So that then is uh, followed by uh, an exercise routine for those body parts that have not been exercised. Then after that, uh, I will uh, finally wind up with uh, energy balancing. So that is uh, left and right brain uh, energy balance and also balance of energy or activating the energy centers from the root to the ground. And that sequence is very important because people have to first develop the left, right brain, masculine, feminine balance to have balanced perspectives in life and then uh, later after that the next sequence of uh, uh, balancing the chakra energy and you know uh, bringing it up through the body for opening of blockages for uh, uh, living a more balanced and vibrant life that is the last step and then finally it will end with uh, relaxation uh, so that you get feel completely revitalized and uh, some of these sections I will explain if you, uh, you can unplug them if you don't need them, the exercise routine for example. Uh, but I highly recommend the last part of it which is very important for everybody's energy balance. So first now I will start with the joint rotation, uh, demonstrating just one joint rotation. And uh, so first we will start with uh, the head rotation that is closing the eyes and feet are Touching, if you feel that comfortable, if you don't feel that's not comfortable and your knees are knocking and all that, then you can keep your feet a little apart. Okay, like I'm doing like this, but try to get your body balance. So, hands aside and body straight. So, first is the head rotation. So, gently dropping the head down, letting it stretch a little bit here. Then you start with anti clockwise, always slowly. Just on the weight of the head, not trying to pull your muscle you know, off your head, just relax. After a few days, you do it more and more, then your head will tilt a little more as the spark stretches. So, first is the anti-clockwise rotation, keeping your, trying to keep your shoulders as straight as possible, so that the stretch happens properly. So, on this side, and then going back, when you go back and open up your breathe in, Slowly as you come down, like this, you breathe out. Eyes closed all the time. And I'm doing a second rotation. Attention should be on that joint. The entire focus of your body, prana and energy should be there. So now at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7, 6, breathe in. You start breathing in from here. In breath is complete, then you out breath. So like this, uh, 8 anti-clockwise, then you start with 8 clockwise slowly, you can go slower than this also, whatever makes you feel comfortable. After 8 anti-clockwise, then you can relax your head, slowly bring it up, eyes closed. Then you are going to do the shoulder rotation, so you can start with front to behind, so it's like this. Keeping your body straight, not bending or anything, just moving your shoulders in front. As you go up, you are breathing in because your lungs are expanding. As you go behind, you are going down, you are breathing out. So like this, you will do eight rotations. This is the shoulder rotations. And after eight are complete, then you will do the back to front, eight rotations.
breathing in and breathing out. Then after that is the wrist rotation. So for that, your hands have to be straight out, extending out as if you are reaching out, close fists, and then anti-clockwise. One, and slowly. Two. So like this, you go eight times. After that, clockwise. One, two, eight times. After that, relaxing your hands down, it's your hip rotation. So here you have to keep the mental picture that your head is straight, your feet are straight, and just your hip, like a pendulum, it is moving. So when you start the first anti-clockwise hip rotation, first you bring your pelvis out. So you should feel the stretch here. Okay. Still try to keep your body straight, shoulders straight. No turning and twisting. Just straight. So then you go to the anti-clockwise like this. Feel the stretch, feel the stretch. Your eyes will be closed, your hands will be straight. And as you go to this extreme, then you go behind, behind, and then you go to this extreme here. And complete one. After you complete eight, then you go for eight clockwise every time. Your energy and your concentration should be at the point of stretch. Here you are channeling all your energy for the healing there. And then you are coming here, here, here. And you are here. Right. After you finish it, then you bring your body back here up to the stretch. Uh, center yourself. If you are breathing and if you need to catch up, you can spend one, two breaths catching up. Then after that, it is your knees. So for the knees especially, you have to touch your knees together, bring your palms flat down here on your knees, touch them and then you're doing bend it, then you're doing anti-clockwise, one, slowly, two, for this you can touch your feet also, then three and then again clockwise, one, two, till you complete, eight. After that, as you stand straight, you can extend this other heel, the ankle rotation. So you gently stretch your leg out, foot out here, and keep clockwise. One, two, till you complete eight, then you go clockwise. One, two. Some people may feel a little giddy when their eyes are closed. So you can keep your eyes a little bit open, but energy on the ankle and foot. The same thing you start with your right leg. And you clockwise one, slowly then two, after you've done eight, anti clock, then you do eight clockwise. So, this is the joint rotations. Now, I'm going to do the Surya Namaskar. And so, Surya Namaskar, before doing all of that, you can open up your central energy system on your spinal cord energy. Okay, to balance that. So first, just loosening up that energy and also building your central energy column strength in your muscles. So, yeah. So we will start just with going up easy, 12, 11 o'clock, stretching, trying to reach the sky, stretching, 1 o'clock, stretching out, 2, 3, and then you're gently going down, uh, stretching your middle back, lower back, and as you go down, just give two, three, four bounces. Just activating your lower back that you are going to stretch now. Then you come up again slowly. Uh, and the space is also fine. One, then you go down a second time. Two, stretch, 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 stretch. Yeah. Bounce a little bit. Then you're coming up again. Slowly. Breathing in. Then. You're breathing out so three times. Okay. Then you can come up again. Now you can do this for 10, 15, 20 times till you feel energized and whatever flexibility you want. So it's just a free fall, that means you drop, breathing out. Then you come up.
Okay, you can start with 10 first, then after a week you can go to 15, after a week you can go to 20. So this exercise is uh, people with low back problem, they need to be careful. Uh, see my acupressure video section where I am teaching how to uh, cure the uh, back problems. Okay. Um, so if you don't have that, you can't find it, message me, I will send it to you on WhatsApp. So first you uh, heal all of your back problem, then have no back pain and then you can start doing these exercises. So now after, uh, and when you are going up and coming down, the main, main energy and concentration should be on this, your lumbar region, your region that you are building up energy and more energy and control is required when you come up. Okay, so that time you must have perfect control on your back muscles. Keep all your attention there. The, how much the hands are going down and all that doesn't matter. So keep strength in your spine. So once this is uh, energized, then you can freely do your Surya Namaskar, uh, whichever method uh, you like. But overall, this is the method that I have followed. Down, level front. To move, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, come back, one, then the next leg, one, That's that one set. So you can do four of these, you can do eight of these. I'll start first week with four. If it's new to you, then next week you can go to eight. After another week or 15 days, you can go to 12. Then you're feeling well, nice and energized and not tired. So after this now, we are going to do the uh, chest exercise. But just before the chest exercise, we'll just uh, Open up a little more energy, so you can swing your arms up and down. And maybe even with this. Now this chest exercise is a combination of three things. First is uh, a chest exercise, then is pranayam, then is using the acupressure ball. So first we will start with the chest exercise, you can do it at some side of your table or the veranda railing like I will do now. So, yeah, the veranda. so this is a nice place. When you are doing the chest press, this is to, it activates, uh, when the muscles get worked out, it brings a blood flow over here. So, uh, once blood flow comes here and energy is spent here, then when we do the prana, that prana that is uh, created, it gets supplied to this point because there's a call for energy supply and rejuvenation here. And then after this breathing, I will be doing the acupressure ball on the liver, lungs and lungs thymus part. So then the acupressure also, energy and prana works to supply energy to the lungs. So when you're doing the acupress, uh, when doing the push-ups, see that the hands come straight here to the chest at this level, not high, not low. So I'm going to adjust myself now first to see that uh, alignment. So yeah, so this is good. So eyes can be open at this time. One, two, and do it slowly so that you feel the pressure of the exercise over here. When you push up, when you push back, then you'll feel a little uh, pressure here. So, after about 10 of these, then you sit down, then you're going to do the acupressure, uh, the pranayam. Yeah. So, after doing the exercise, you sit down and you do 10 forced breaths, full lungs in, you know, air in, air out, full lung capacity, 
and first you start with breathing out because many people uh, don't understand the meaning of emptying out your lungs completely so so that i'm going to start with the out breath and then i'll do uh, 10 pranayams uh, that is what i call forced uh, breaths emptying out the lungs completely People with pacemaker and stent and all that don't do to 100% of your full capacity, do to about 80%. So the first week you can start with 10 breaths, next week you can go to 15, next week you can go to 20. So after doing it, now this uh, breathing has to be with your eyes closed. Because if your eyes are open, then the excess prana that is generated it goes out through your eyes. So keep your eyes closed. And after the pranayam, then you will use this pointed acupressure ball to for about 2 minutes, uh, pressing points on your liver, lungs and lungs, thymus area, both hands. Okay, so that's what you can do so this is one set and during this time also eyes have to be closed to retain the prana and energy so you can also use these two minutes to get your uh, breath back and calm down so after doing liver lungs on one thing for about one minute then you can go to lungs time is here okay. so then after this this is one set so then you repeat the same again 10 push-ups 10 forced breaths and 2 minutes of acupressure ball. And third set also, 10 push ups, 10 forced breaths, full lung capacity, eyes closed, acupressure ball, eyes closed. So, this uh, really uh, strengthens the lungs. And when the lungs strengthens, then uh, more oxygen is there, it comes into the blood. When there's more oxygen in the blood, then the heart also relaxes and it has to beat lesser. So, you get your pulse rate starts dropping. For people from 85 to 75 to 65. So this is uh, the immunity that you have to build for flus and all of these uh, things that are happening. So what goes along with this, uh, since you are trying to improve your lung function, um, is also uh, every morning take 10 drops of Panch Tulsi in half a glass slightly warm water first thing in the morning and last thing before going to sleep at night so the punch tulsi that is uh, sometimes it may not be called punch tulsi it may just be called tulsi drops concentrated punch tulsi is because they mix five varieties of uh, tulsi leaves the extract of that so that also once first thing in the morning last thing before we go to bed at night that will also help improve your lung function, it will, all of this exercise will help, help you get rid of uh, cough, cold, sinusitis, you know, weakness in lungs, uh, asthma conditions and also the most important thing to prevent all of this is stop milk and all milk products, okay, milk, tea, coffee, uh, lassi, cha, soft tea, smoothie, ice cream, all of that from animals, okay, animal milk, stop it completely and then you can shift to plant milks, uh, that is nut milks. So you have coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk, soya milk, all of that, oat milk and all. From all of that you can make all of your uh, tea, coffee, soft tea, smoothie, cake, cheesecake, everything, ice cream. Okay, so uh, yeah, access our uh, this uh, vegan food recipes uh, book, it's got 250 recipes. So that will give you all these. Uh, you know, different things to make. So, when you are doing the third step of this exercise, that means rolling the acupressure ball in your palm, You, those of you who have a foot roller, you can also do the foot roller at the same time. So, that means uh, after doing the 10 force breaths, then you can, even when doing the breath, you can keep your foot uh, feet on the foot roller. And after doing the 10 fourths breaths with your eyes closed, then you can be rolling your 
uh, foot roller here now this entire section over here is for the liver and lungs area so that means you are going to be doing like this uh, and you are going to have the acupressure ball also in your hands where you are doing it on the uh, lungs and liver and lungs and thymus those of you who have very weak intestines or colon or having constipation problems you can also do it here okay maybe in the third set um, so one more thing is that now these all of these points are the face nose eyes sinus headache and all of that these two are for the right eye this is for the right ear and they are also sinus points so what you can do is a combination for those of you who have got sinus and you know blocked nose and all of that or getting headaches often you open up your toes like this align it like this and you press your toes on the pointed part of the ruler so this is how you do it so at the same time now with the feet you can keep it stationary pointed some of you may get a little bit of pain under the toes uh, that's because those organs are weak, the eyes, nose, or sinus points. Now you can keep it here or you can gently do a massage. Okay, so this is for top of the toes, base of the toes, opening it up. And then at the same time, when you're stationary here, you can do this acupressure ball in your hand. So everything with your eyes closed. So this you can do for all the three sets. So it's a combination of working out on liver, lungs, heart, eyes, nose, uh, ears, face, sinus points. Yeah. So now the next part is uh, body exercise. Now in this you already spent some time on these muscles with the push-ups so now you can do your biceps uh, so use your dumbbells or whatever this over here for convenience I use uh, this canvas cloth bag yeah it's a uh, the new earth summit and earth keepers connect website this we had uh, you know given to everybody as the delegates kit at the new earth summit I use this because I put sand in it and so as I want to build more and more strength, so I started from 4 kilos, then I went to 5, then I went to 6 after a month, then I after another month went to 7. Now this is 8 kilos. So I feel, yeah, I want to build a little more muscle, so I use 8 kilos. So standing straight, keeping hands straight, then I, you can do about 8 or 10, whatever you want. Slow, up and down, to... Uh, Keeping uh, your visualization on this part of the body that you are building strength and power. Okay. Three, four. So this is the first set. You can do up to starting. You can do eight or ten. After a month, you can do you know twelve or fifteen. Then another set here. These are very simple exercises that you can do at home without any gym equipment and all of that. Okay, so you don't even need dumbbells for this. Like you see, you can make some bags, and if not, sand, put mud or something in it, uh, so that you can change the weights, uh, weight, and you don't have to buy weights all the time. Now, after this, then we go for the next set, which is uh, working on the legs. Then again, we'll come to the second set for the hands. So that's the the squat, keeping your back straight, face straight, hands out. You do. And squat like that, come down, hold it for some time till you feel some pressure building up here in your thighs, and then it builds up. Then you come back again. One, so you can do four to eight, or even ten, twelve if you like. To wait, wait, wait for the muscle to build up, a little amount of pain, and after you get enough, then you can come back. So, this is going to work your thigh muscles your butt also okay and a little bit of your shoulder muscles although this is for balance hands out so you can do four or eight of these then you go back to the second set because uh, muscles are relaxed by it then after the first set also you can do a bit of stretch but i will do it after the second set 
So again taking this get up straight okay slowly and steadily up and down. The slower you do the better the muscle builds. Now this is important uh, especially for pe people above 50 I'll explain why. So doing your set over here then you're doing your next set this hand after you finish 8 or 10 same number you do on both hands why this is important because after the age of 50 people start losing muscle mass and then their hands and legs and all become weaker so if you are losing muscle mass then uh, you uh, want to build up muscle so then you use more weights and you use lesser repetition for people who want to uh, burn fat then you have to do more repetitions with lesser weight that means you're exercising more maybe you're doing just five kilos you know for 20 30 40 reps each hand that's to uh, burn uh, excess fat so after doing these uh, four arms and the biceps you need to stretch this a bit to allow the lactic acid to flow and for the muscle to get uh, more supple so it can slowly build so for that you can swing your arms about eight ten times and when it's going behind you're getting a stretch okay yeah you can also do it from front to side here your chest will also get a little bit of <coughs> stretch and expansion from the push-up that you did earlier about 8 or 10 okay then after this then you go for the next set of uh, uh, leg muscles that is you uh, squat go completely down with your ankles up like this get your balance first and then again keeping your hands out you can do 1, 2, 3 you can go higher to build more uh, muscle here 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9, 10. You see on the first day you do 10, after a week you can do 15, after another week you can do 20. To a point that you are getting really good workout and when you are standing up, you have to catch your breath. Okay. So that's the second set of the head muscles. Now after you do this, you can stretch these muscles. So uh, stand on one leg, hold this and stretch it out you for balance you can keep your hand here hold this also here okay here your joint and just stretch 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 a good amount of stretch then do the same for the next leg if you are losing balance then you hold something and stretch that okay after you feel good stretch it's fine then you can go for the third set of your uh, weights here 8 or 10 this hand that hand and then the third set is for the calf muscles so for the calf muscles you can go to a step or something that's a little bit elevated like this uh, step here uh, if you want a mild degree of exercise you can take some support and go all the way down and then come all the way up okay so this you can do 20 30 40 whatever is your comfortable thing for the first week after a week you can increase by 10 if you want to build more calf muscle then you do it on one leg so keep one leg up and then you can do it just on one leg slowly stretch up and down completely so for example, I normally do 30 on this leg, then I will do 30 on this leg. So now this leg is getting rested, then after that I will do another 30 on this. And then I will do another 30 on this, little slowly. I have just been doing it a little quicker. Up, down, up, down. Okay, now this is very important to get blood flow to the calf muscles which are also considered, you know, the uh, heart pump. So 
so they will help uh, build even better circulation and strength for the heart now after uh, all of these exercises the next is you can uh, do one uh, the stomach crunches and the safer one is not with pulling your head up but this one what i'm going to show you which is you're lying on the ground and i call it cheetah in the plains that means you've seen on national geographic and all all while if you've ever seen a cheetah uh, you can see how it runs so this is a cheetah upside down running in the plains to catch its prey so it starts with like this you can bend your feet and you are running like that okay so one two three four five six seven you can start at 20 then after a week go to 30 after a week if you want 40 and you can stop at 40 just continue with 40 See that it's flat down and there's you know your belt and all of your pants is not there take it out see that the, it's flat over here and there's nothing catching your pressing on your bones and also you can keep your eyes closed if you like conserve a little bit of energy after you're done with this come to the side use your hand to get up So now we are coming to the last part, which is the energy balance and energy generation. So I do this has to be done on sitting down. So first, before doing left and right brain balance breathing, which is unalone below, uh, before that you need to open some amount of energy in your spinal system, in your Particles of your brain, a little bit of block nose, you know, get the energy to flow. And when this part of your brain is charged, that's when you do the left and right balance. Then after that, it will be uh, the chakra toning, which I will explain. So, uh, yeah, it's like the Bastrika. So, when you put your hands up and then you breathe in. And then you're catching the clouds and you're putting them down. You're letting your hands drop. Okay. So these you have to do 20, minimum 20. And uh, uh, the purpose of all of this, you know, what this also facilitates is uh, lymphatic drainage and lymphatic pumping. So the lymphatic, uh, you know, glands are over here and the lymph uh, entire system is taking out toxins from the body so this is exercising a little bit of this you have lymph glands here also under the arm also here between your thighs here inner thighs neck back of the neck so even that uh, cheetah in the planes uh, upside down that is also charging your entire lymphatic drainage you know it's, uh, facilitating it so then after this your eyes are closed after about 20 of these, breath in, and so after you complete uh, 20, you can just take one, two breaths, slow breaths, so your body will do what it wants to just get yourself back. Then it is the left and right nostril breathing. So some people find it convenient to keep their hands here. Now in this, for example, you start with this. You don't have to move your hands, I'm just showing the flow of air. So left nostril breathing in, then you close it, you breathe out here. This is my left nostril, left in, right out, right in, left out. Left in, right out, don't have to move your hands and you need to do it at a slow pace, the slower the better. So right now this is the speed at what I feel is good for me now.
Now, this you can go on for 4 minutes, 5 minutes, every week you can increase it. So, to balance more of your emotional body with your scientific, mental, you know, uh, both of these aspects. So, we are not trying to increase anyone, whichever is in excess, we are trying to bring it in balance, whichever is less is going to come to balance. Now, some people will have a problem with, you know, as you keep your hand here, this all of this weight, you get a little bit of a shoulder pain after 4-5 minutes. So, then uh, the most comfortable now in this, you have to be sitting straight, eyes have to be closed, head has to be balanced, so in the spinal column, the energy can flow properly. Now, for people who are feeling some pain here and they want some rest, they can even do this and they can rest their hand here and instead of doing on top because you don't want to bend your neck you can uh, do even this so uh, you can take some support here of your thumb and with these two fingers so this is the least amount of energy that you use you are breathing in case you are getting some arm pain. So now after 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 minutes as you feel better and you want more balance of your left and right brain, the master and feminine aspect. Then after that it is uh, the chakra breathing. So from the base, uh, this is even more, this is deeper uh, energy balance in your body than chanting OM. OM is only two syllables. Oh, vibration is here. Oh, mm, it goes a little higher. For those who are chanting, uh, you can feel vibration here. Uh, mm. So, we are going to do the entire energy system balance, which is also as I shared in my life transformation program and even deeper in my life transformation retreat uh, how our entire process of uh, manifesting the lives that we want using the law of creation that works through our entire chakra system and so for that to work powerfully you need to tone these uh, energy centers and as you are doing this toning whenever there is any blockage it will start opening up so then prana and energy can flow all throughout your body so that you become a more vibrant, more expressive, more creative and you know more powerful being to achieve all that you want in a very dynamic, beautiful, artistic way if you like also. So for this uh, chakra toning I am going to be using the sound Sare Gama which will be toning the seven chakras. So those of you who are uh, aware of the seven chakras then you can work on this and uh, after this I will just show a set for those people in the, my life transformation program or retreat who have understood which is the 8th and ninth chakra to be activated. I will explain that. Then there are 9 toning sounds. So starting with 7 chakras, uh, first you have to get an idea of how the vibration is moving in the body. Okay, so you can sit uh, vertically like this and chant each of these at this interval and basically with your finger you have to point yourself to yourself where the vibration is changing your body. So if I start with this now. <coughs> so, re, ga, ma, pa, if you chant at this rate, you'll be able to see the vibration moving. So you know which energy centers are getting charged, and uh, you're bringing them to resonance, so that you're opening up energy and you're slowly toning energy to flow from the root to the crown. Okay, so. It is a different meditation that I teach in uh, uh, other sessions where we are getting uh, cosmic energy and consciousness 
into our body from uh, the top to the root. That's a different process. So this is more preliminary and a necessary part. This comes first for people to be able to bring up their energy spreading all through their body. And once that is done, then you can work better with higher energies. So now uh, you have to hold, uh, say, sing the sound and hold the tone nice and steady <coughs> for a longer time. So deep in breath and then deep out breath with the sound of sa. Okay, so that is the tone. It's not a short interval. So you can start with four, then increase to five, then six, seven, eight times doing this entire routine. So I'm starting first with uh, the low one. So. same tone. Uh, so even if you're not a singer, you imagine now that you're a singer and you can hold a tone and you're you know doing mastering this sound. So that will help build this uh, energy, your lung capacity and your chakra energy resonance as well. <coughs> After size, re Say it loudly. If you say it loudly, that will be for a shorter while because more air is going on. That's fine. But the important is a tone and good strong volume. One in breath. Ma. In breath, the losses. Same tone. If I feel vibration tickling and all over here, that's good. It's fine. So this you do another, keeping your eyes closed, you do another at four, three times. So basic is uh, four times you do this entire sequence. Uh, then after a few days you do five rounds, after a few days six rounds, then seven rounds, then eight rounds is good enough. Then after all of this toning, now you have created resonance, you have opened some energy circuits, you made certain chakras stronger. Now you will do the same uh, bastika kind of breathing at least 40 times. So this then allows energy to flow to the open chakras and to you know energize everything. So all blockages and all they start opening at this time. So some happen earlier but more happen now. And after this I am going to lie down. So I will explain what to do there. So after these four, six, seven or eight times, then keeping your eyes closed, then you do at least 40. So first one week you can do 40, the next week you can do 50, the next week you can do 60. Okay, so going up to a maximum if you want to go, 80 is enough, more than enough. First with your breath out to empty your lungs. You be conscious that your lungs have to be that empty. Place which has no armrest here, but then you'll be banging your bones here. And by the time you do 40, you feel a lot of tingling. If you have not been used to this, you feel tingling energy here, you feel like a bit of electricity, that's all fine. So after after 40, then without opening your eyes, conserving your energy, you stay completely on the ground. Now this uh, last part 
which is the 40 plus three cars went down and then after one week increasing it to 50 60 70 80 this you can stop doing once you know the higher chakras are over activated suppose they're getting too activated that is your third eye and your crown chakra what are the symptoms of your third eye and crown chakra getting over activated uh, it would be uh, that you are uh, having too many visions that uh, you are sometimes having uh, out of body experiences just when you are sitting and meditating it could also be for people who are vayu body type that you are having you know more sleeplessness at night so these are the symptoms of uh, third eye and crown chakra over activation okay so if that starts happening then this last part of 40 uh, three cars you can stop doing so then you can continue with the first 20 uh, Bhastri cards, which is the opening and activating initial. Then you can do the Anulom Vilom, uh, left and right nostril breathing. And last, you can end with the Chakra Toning. And after that Chakra Toning, you can lie down and have your relaxation. And that's the last part of the uh, entire Kriya. Now, still recording? Okay. Now you can also do this entire routine on the beach. You can do it at a riverside. You can do it on the earth, ground, anywhere. Uh, now this is to uh, charge the five elements in your body. Uh, you can read the chapter in my book, Become Healthy or Extinct, the chapter, Five Elements Therapy. So, all of this, the entire routine, you can start with drinking one, two glasses of water. You can do that 15 minutes earlier. So, then you have abundance of water element in your body. Then, as you're doing this on the earth and ground, even the last part of lying down on Mother Earth, you can do it on the ground, on the sand, or on the earth. And uh, so yeah, so it is the first uh, part is getting enough of water element, being next to the seashore, being next to the river, then earth element by being barefoot, touching your body to the ground, earth, water, fire, that means in sunlight, so 7 a.m. in the morning, 7.30 and all, you'll get good sunlight, try to do it with minimal clothing also, so you get more vitamin D absorption uh, and creation in your body. Earth, water, fire, air, lot of pranayam you are already doing and space element is rather than being in the house, you are out in the environment getting good space element. So this will also enhance your body balance and as you get more of etheric nutrition from these natural fire elements, slowly you will need lesser and lesser physical food to keep you healthy and give you energy. Okay. So this is the last part of uh, whatever energy is open and chakras open and energy is flowing and balancing with your body, you have to allow it to happen. So in this, you don't need to keep your legs straight. You keep your legs straight open, keep your hands like, you know, extended open. The most extended version of yourself, you do that. Uh, if you can sleep on the floor and earth, that's better. Uh, don't do this on a yoga mat unless you're in the winter and it's going to get very chilly. Uh, and you are sleeping for more than 10 minutes, then you don't do this where it is in the winter. Otherwise, you after this breathing uh, and charging your body, then you relax completely. Just let two, three breaths go, feel completely relaxed. Now you are surrendering yourself to Mother Earth and Father Sky. So with every in breath from Father Sky, which have got more of the elements of space, fire, sunlight, air. So with every in breath, you are taking in good energy. Of course, your hands are down, but you are taking in good energy. 
uh, intelligence, cosmic energy flow, uh, pure air, no oxygen. So imagine all that is coming into your body in one in breath. And as your out breath is happening, you are releasing all toxins into Mother Earth, any stress, anxiety, you're completely surrendering. And Mother Earth will recycle all of that energy and make it in balance and reusable again. Okay, so every in breath, Father Sky and slowly going out to Mother Earth. And this is what I call birthing the new earth child. This is just part of the exercise because the rest of the consciousness of the new earth child is there in all our programs if you are watching our video making new earth. There you will understand what is the new earth child is, what are the many, so many faith systems, science, principles, ways of living that are destructive. All those are being left in the past. And the newer child is picking up all the science and tech that we are, you know, we and other people across the globe are sharing in green science, green technologies, from a decentralized system to uh, from a centralized system of manipulation, control, and destruction to a decentralized system of being more with nature and all of that. So that is the science part of the newer child. But this is the energy part of building up the energy of the newer child. Or you can be in this position completely relaxed, don't have any thoughts, just be with the awareness. After 5-10 breaths of Father Sky and Mother Earth, you can leave that also and just be relaxed. Your body will do what it has to do. Some people who are tired, they will fall asleep, that's fine. You will not feel good, get up after 20 minutes, half an hour, it's fine. But like I said, if you are on the cold, if you are in winter and the ground is cold and you may fall asleep, then put a yoga mat. The edges of your hands and feet can touch the floor. Your body, main body will be insulated by the yoga mat. So, over the years that I have been teaching this at the retreats, some people have even had you got a retreat or retire at their homes so as they increase the number of counts. Some people have had out of body experiences. Some people have seen past lives. All of this happens when your entire system is open and your previous memories that are there in your soul body. If any of them are you know toxic and stressful, they will get released and you may see them. So that's all fine, it's part of the process of the cleansing, balancing of your body and you know the uh, facilitating uh, of your consciousness uh, moving higher and higher. So after your complete relaxation then you slowly bring your consciousness back into your body. You draw your arms in, you draw your legs in and so return to your left hand side and uh, when you feel like it, the support of your right hand. Okay. So you open your eyes and get up. Okay. So this is the entire sequence and uh, on days where you do not have enough time, then you can do four, four sets of everything. On days where you have time, you can do six, seven, seven, eight sets, or even more if you feel like. Then those people who are doing other exercise routines uh, at the gym and all that, they can unplug that one section where I'm doing the weights and all of that. Okay. Um, but yes, what I uh, recommend that uh, the minimum is the joint rotations you have to do. Okay. And for people who do not have strength to do the Surya Namaskar, if you are aged and all that, you can keep out that section also, or just do one, two of it. 
Okay, so people who are not having enough strength, you can do one, two, three, four, whatever number of Surya Namaskars you can manage. So, uh, the first part of joint rotations, compulsory, little bit of Surya Namaskar. Um, before that, like I said, opening up the spine energy, then Surya Namaskar, then doing your uh, body exercises. Uh, so that also for people who are not doing any kind of other exercise, this is to retain a little bit of muscle mass and all of that. And then after that, uh, uh, the last part, uh, which is opening, this I recommend that everybody should do it. Okay, left and right brain balance and root to crown. So, yes, uh, this is going to be on my YouTube channel, so do it for one week, two weeks and I'll, after you have uh, any questions or experiences please share in comments on the video okay thank you